on guys welcome back to another beer review uh today we're checking out a local beer west coast beer a beer from probably my favorite southern california brewery it's modern times and this is hulu mulu um these white labels never focus on camera so um hulu mulu is a i think it's a 10 percent let's see here does it say yeah 10 percent uh double ipa 80 ibus um, and it's their uh, March release. They do um, a thing every every year, every month. There's like a new bottle release for them, and this is the one for March. Um, and they say Hula Mulu is named for fantasy island populated by exiles in Herman Melville's first work of fiction, the story of an American who abandons his abandons his whaling ship hashtag whales bro uh, to explore the South Pacific. So an awesome name for a beer. Modern Times just kills it with their names of their beers. I love all the names of their beers. Um, but yeah, this one, it just got released, I think last week, uh, people have been asking me to review more local beers and more available beers. So this is one that I, I picked up. Um, I also grabbed, they just started a, um, it's going to be year round now, a mosaic IPA called Orderville. Um, and I shared it last night with a bunch of friends and I didn't get to video that. So, um, I'll pick that beer up and video it, but, uh, yeah, I wanted to check this one out. I love, you know, I love double IPAs. I love modern times. So it's funny. I don't know what hops are in here because usually on their labels, um, it gives you all the information. It's got the SRM, the IBU, the gravity, um, the malt show two row, pale malt and dextrose, and then the hops, it says too many to name. So I'm not sure what, what hops they're using. Um, but yeah, it just says, you know, it says Hoppy Tropical Double IPA. Um, this is kind of a first for me. I actually had this beer sitting in our wine fridge, which is set at 60 degrees. So this is the temperature I usually drink New England IPAs at. I don't usually drink um, West Coast IPAs at that. So going to kind of see what it's like. Um, this should really show us what the beer is since it's already, you know, 60 degrees. It's, it's warm. So, I mean, there's a chill on the bottle, but it's not ice cold. So let's go ahead and... Uh, and check it out. Hopefully we don't have any camera issues. Wow, I can smell that already. Hopefully there's no camera issues today and there already is. Hello? Oh, there it goes. Um, we're gonna use Modern Times glassware. Hold on a second. I seriously do not know what's going on with this camera. It's insane. Like I checked for updates. I did all kinds of stuff and it's just, it's struggling and I don't know why it's not like, the lighting's not low in here. It's, it's strange. So anyways, uh, I feel like just looking at the camera screen that the video is like behind or the audio is off but whatever anyways yeah we're using our uh, oversized modern times tulip glass because this glass is awesome and proper glassware but yeah i could smell that when i opened it give ourselves a healthy pour so yeah that uh, it pours a crystal clear um it looks a lot darker on camera but it's like a golden yellow color um Great carbonation. There's about a finger of bright white head when we pour that, but yeah, it looks like a West Coast IPA in the glass. So let's go ahead and show our nose. In. I don't think we're gonna get through this review. This is insane. It's happened twice. I, I just I don't know. <laughs> Why even watch them? I can't like. Uh, try pouring a little more of this. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know if we saw the beer yet. I think we did. It's a, it's that golden yellow. <laughs> like, I don't even want to do this. Golden, golden yellow. Uh, plenty of carbonation. Um, there is some haze to that, which is kind of crazy. I mean, I know it says it, it looks clear, and you can probably see me through that, but there's uh, there's some some haze, and it's not a chill haze. So, yeah, it looks like a West Coast beer in the glass. So, let's, uh, let's go ahead. I, did we start smelling it yet? I can't remember. This is insane. <laughs> uh... Good times. Wow. Um, first thing I would say is you. This beer is telling you that it's ten percent. This smells. This actually smells a little boozy. It smells sweet. I mean, it says uh, hoppy tropical double IPA. It it definitely is. It's like sweet tropical fruits, like uh, like mangoes and there's oranges. But yeah, it smells sweet. It smells. It's weird. Um, I mean, we talk about when beers kind of lose their hop profile and they kind of go malty. This smells, it smells like a malty beer. Um, and it, again, it just might be that it's a 10% beer. It's just a huge, huge beer. And it could be that it's already at room temperature. This might smell and taste a lot better ice cold. I don't know, but it's fun to do experiments like this. 
but yeah, uh, it's, I mean, there's tropical fruits, there's oranges, there's tangerines, uh, like I said, there's mango in there, but it, it does, it smells sweet and it smells boozy. It smells like thick and syrupy. Um, there is like that kind of crackery bread, uh, bready thing in there. But this definitely smells like a 10%, a 10% beer. So let's go ahead and dig in. Cheers. Yeah, that's, ooh, that is sweet. Um, immediately this reminds me of uh, Exponential Hoppiness from Alpine, just for how sweet it is. This is really, really sweet. Um, definitely drinks like a 10% beer. Um, it is, a, a buddy of mine drank this and said it, it, it tasted medicinal to him. Um, I don't think it's, I think it's the, the alcohol that he was tasting. It does not hide the 10%. It's actually got a really nice mouthfeel though, um, but it's it's dank and resinous and bitter, um, and it's sweet tropical fruits. It's you know oranges, tangerines, mangoes, um, but it is like it is warm on my tongue, which is pretty crazy. Um, this is I mean this is kind of a booze bomb, which is a little disappointing. Um, I know once you get into the ten percent range, it's kind of hard. I, will, I always say that too when 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 I drink ten per, like double IPAs from New England, you know the nine nine percent ten percent, and and these guys and those guys are hiding alcohol in those beers. It just it it just shows how amazing they are. At Modern Times makes amazing beers. Um, I'm not taking anything away from them, but this particular ten percent beer, I don't know what hops they're using, um, but it is definitely boozy. It is it's almost like warm going down, which is kind of crazy for a ten percent beer. Um, I mean, you drink stouts that are, you know, Bourbon County doesn't taste this warm. This is really, really boozy right now. And like I said, it could just be a temperature thing. But yeah, it is sweet. It, it, it remind, it's reminding me of Alpine's Exponential Hoppiness. Yeah, it's, whew. It is sweet and it is boozy and it is dank and resinous. So, um, yeah, the tropical fruits are there. But this is just a beer. Um, I know these are kind of experimental things and you know, they're out for a month and um, I don't know if they could kind of dial this in. But yeah, it's pretty crazy how, uh, how sweet this is and boozy it is. I've never had a, a Modern Times beer that tasted like this. I mean, it's definitely hoppy and it's, def it's definitely tropical fruity, um, but it's just the booze is kind of, it's taking everything over. Um, it is, I mean, it says it's 80 IBUs. It drinks like 80 IBUs. There's a nice just bitterness, bitterness sitting on my tongue. Um, but yeah, it's like thick and syrupy and um, it is, it's boozy. I'd never had this beer before and I actually sent this to a couple friends to check out. Um, I don't know if, I'm not sure if they're gonna like this or not. We'll see. Um, but if you're watching this and you get and you get this beer for me, drink it cold. I wouldn't let this. I wouldn't let this one warm. But I, I'm kind of glad I did let it warm and, and drank it at 60 degrees because I can give like an honest. I mean, if it, I don't know if maybe when it's ice cold, it's a lot better. And I would have been like, hey, this is really really good. But then as I drank it and you know I finished it off camera, it would have turned into this, and I would have been like, wow, that completely changed. So um, I like drinking beers at this temperature. But um, I mean, this is. I'd go like 87, 88 for this one. It's like a B plus beer. Um, I mean, definitely worth checking out. Modern Times makes good beer, and this beer is definitely hoppy, and it's def definitely tropical fruity. And like I said, I'll buy another one of these, and I'll drink it cold and see, you know, see if it's different. But it's um, it's definitely boozy. It is sweet. Um, it's it's more of a malt-driven beer for me. Um, I mean, the hops are there, but it's just, and maybe it's not the malts that I'm tasting. It's just like that alcohol that I'm tasting. But um, very drying on my tongue. Bone dry finish. Uh, but it's not one of those. It's not one of those where you're like, "Ooh, this is a really easy drinking 10% beer." It's not. Um, you'd, you'd labor through this one. So, uh, yeah. Sorry for the kind of. I don't know. I feel like this review kind of sucked because I was getting up. I just when I have to start over because these camera problems, it just it kind of takes the wind out of your sails. <laughs> um, I don't know if I. I probably didn't describe this well enough. Um, I probably didn't do this beer justice. But as far as like a review goes, but yeah, it's just. I don't know, you get bummed out when that happens and you have to start over and then I, I seriously tried it like five or six times and I can't, I mean, I'm, I'm only going to use I think two or three of the clips, <laughs> but the, the camera just kept stopping. It just, it like freezes and it can't, I don't know what's going on. It's so strange. I've always had like success with Logitech 
products and this camera for whatever reason it's just it is struggling and it was fine up until like a week ago it just started happening like a week or two ago so strange i don't know so yeah sorry if this if this review wasn't great um if you're in san diego or la and you get modern times definitely check this beer out i mean it's a cool beer to check out it's definitely something different from them um, I wish I knew what the hops were. I could probably look it up and see, but it doesn't say on the bottle, which is kind of a bummer. But yeah, it is a big, big beer. And if you have had this, uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Like I said, it's like that B, you know, B plus kind of a range. I mean, there's a bunch of other modern times beers I would drink before this. Um, I mentioned Orderville. That beer was awesome. It was Mosaic Bomb. Um, I mean, I love Fortunate Islands, Loma Land. I would drink all those beers probably before this one. But again, one of those cool beers to check out. You know, it's only around for this month. So, ch you know, grab it if it's available or if it's available around you, grab it and check it out. And yeah, I'm going to be interested to see what uh, the couple people who I sent this to think of, think of it. So, yeah, that's it. I'm out of here, guys. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe.